Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to the Brampton Observatory channel. Uh, just got back about a week ago now from Starfest 2023. That took place in Aiton, Ontario, which is just north of Mount Forest. It's a roughly border 3 4 uh, zone for dark skies. Uh, not too bad, considering it's like from my observatory, probably about an hour and a half drive, roughly. And uh, really enjoyed it. It was my first time. Uh, we took the trailer up and uh, camped there from Friday, roughly early morning, until Sunday. The actual Starfest can last, depending on when you go, up to a week uh, if you want to go up early. Uh, most people go up either Wednesday, Thursday, and uh, we were a little late getting there. So uh, spots can be very hard to find at that uh, late time, especially for a trailer. Uh, but we did with the help of uh, Malcolm from the North York Astronomical Association uh, find a decent spot. And uh, thanks to all of the staff there, they did a fantastic job putting it on. Uh, we really enjoyed the trip. Uh, the weather uh, was not the best uh, the whole time. I mean, I think we were lucky we didn't go up on the Thursday because it was just like a massive rainstorm that passed through. Friday night was good, uh, sky-wise, not too bad. Uh, it was cold. Uh, I've heard it went down to seven or eight degrees Celsius that night. Uh, it was very dewy as well. I had some issues with the t small telescope I bought, uh, brought, I should say, and uh, ended up doing mostly visual, which is great. Uh, I don't unfortunately get to do visual that often. Uh, most of my uh, endeavors are in astrophotography, uh, so it was nice to do some visual. My wife got to see a dark sky. Unfortunately, we didn't see any aurora while we were there, which was kind of on her bucket list, so I'll have to work on that. Uh, but yeah, generally a really good uh, time. Uh, it was very well organized. There were lots of great prizes for astrophotography as well as just general door prizes given out uh, some of them are really really great uh, for people who are just getting started others were prizes were for more advanced uh, lots of uh, software type giveaways as well so the question is will we go back again next year and that's a really resounding yes uh, I will show a few photos right after this video uh, of the area from an overview, as well as a few pictures I got to take while I was there. Uh, it was a very busy couple of days. Uh, it was our first time going with a trailer. We just bought a new RV, and uh, the learning curve on that was a little bit steep, so we were kind of uh, focused a lot on that as well. Uh, they do have some amazing facilities there, full showers, uh, laundry, uh, washrooms, uh, both porta potties and a large building with washrooms in it, uh, and a food truck. Uh, the food truck food, by the way, was just really great uh, and helped take the edge off on some of the uh, cooler nights. Uh, and the portions were all great as well. For anyone just getting started in astronomy as a hobby, uh, I do recommend you go to a star party somewhere, whether it's the big one. I think there were somewhere around 700 people there this year, uh, like Starfest, or whether it's a small local star party. Uh, RASC Mississauga chapter puts on miniature star parties. Uh, usually a couple of times a month at Riverwood Conservatory in Mississauga, I believe it is. And uh, just go to their website and they have a, uh, a listing of when those star parties are going to take place. It's a wonderful place to meet people who have the same interest. Uh, or even if you've just never seen the night sky and want to learn a little more about it, 
and a little more about st astronomy and astrophotography. There's usually telescopes there. If the weather is not so great, then they usually have presentations of some kind. So be sure to check them out and uh, hope you tune into the channel for our next live broadcast. I'm not sure when that's going to be. The weather today is again kind of cloudy with a little bit of rain here. And uh, hopefully we'll see you online. If you do come to the channel, I would appreciate if you'd subscribe. Uh, it does help us out uh, a lot if you do and hit a like on the uh, YouTube channel. It's the Brampton Observatory channel. And uh, thanks and hope to see you uh, on one of our broadcasts uh, real soon or watch some of the videos with some helpful hints and tips and uh, sometimes disasters uh, like when my 14 inch telescope got trashed. Uh, but we have the Rasa in there now, the Rasa 11, and I'm pretty happy with that. Anyway, we'll be doing some more videos as well as the live broadcasts as we go along here and hope to see you real soon. Everybody take care and remember, keep looking up.